For this presentation, I will show you how DocuWare and SAP connect to each other. It's a procurement scenario. The Peters Engineering Company has to build a new roller coaster. So a colleague sent me a purchase request. I opened it up in DocuWare, and let's have a closer look at what we should do. So we're going to change SAP and enter the purchase order into the system. So we'll enter the vendor. We enter the material number as well as the quantity. After we checked our purchase order, we save it. What we get is a purchase order number. Now this purchase order number, we bring back into DocuWare and we confirm our task that we ordered the purchase request. When we go back to SAP, we can look at the attachment list. In the attachment list, we'll find the purchase order as well as the purchase request. Let's have a look at the purchase order. As you can see, this opens in the DocuWare web client, and we can use functionality of the DocuWare web client to share this information with DocuWare users. After we've completed the purchase, we receive the delivery. When the goods are delivered, we just check if everything is okay. And then we save this. Here, a barcode pop-up appears where we enter a barcode, or we can even print a barcode and put that label onto the delivery note. After we confirm the barcode, this job is done. We have the goods, the delivery note, as well as the invoice. It comes to DocuWare, we scan it, and now we bring the delivery note into the system. Here we enter the barcode. Of course, this can be done automatically, but to show you the document, we do it manually in this case. So now let's have a look at the invoice. The invoice was analyzed by intelligent indexing. And what we do is just check the data that DocuWare gleaned from the document, and we can enter the data that is missing or correct any data if need be. You can see if you need to, you don't have to type, you just highlight what data to bring over. Finally, we say which clerk should work on this document next to review. Also, at this point, we can give the purchase order number for this invoice. After we've saved the document, we can go back to SAP and have a look at the material document. So what we'll see here is that the document which was just put into DocuWare with a barcode is now connected with SAP and can be shown here. Now we go back to DocuWare. I just received a task that I should check the invoice. I say the invoices are okay and I say the next clerk who has to work on it in SAP is myself. When I go back to my business workplace, I can go to the inbox, to the workflows, and then look for the items which I've received. Here I have the invoice already finished in SAP. All I have to do is double click it to see the invoice. And then I go back and see the SAP transaction. I enter some additional data and can finally save the invoice without adding further data manually as everything of value already came from DocuWare. Let's look at the invoice again, just to check what happened. We have the booking as well as the attachment in the attachment list. When we go back to the purchase order and have a look at the attachment list now, after we've worked on all the documents, you can see that we all see them here as well. So that's another possibility that you can put a document to several SAP processes. For the DocuWare users, 
they just can use the normal search and the process number, the purchase order number in this case, and then they see all four documents that are indexed and they can just scroll through all the documents.